I've got something I need to talk to you about. Be best to discuss it back at my hut. Meantime, you're gonna be late for your broomstick training. Off you go. Oh, Hagrid, your face is so fascinating. Uh, okay, so if you missed the last episode, uh, all we did was we had a apology lesson. Well, we did a couple of things too, but the main bit of it was learning the, I think it's Inferno or something like that, uh, spell. So we should be able to cast it. See if I can. I feel like I should do something with this bush, you know. Uh, oh look, I see some pretty pots. Every flavor beans over here. I just want to say uh, that you know I'm really so so happy that everyone has been enjoying the series so much because I am having just as much fun. in this fun 2001 gaming times. I definitely cast something on this fountain before and like it moved. Um, definitely feel like we'll come down here at some point. Oh, I do get a lot of comments asking me to play oh, look, Chamber of Secrets and of course I'm gonna keys. This is, uh, this is a disaster because I can't remember what keys. It's not, not a number key. It's so kind of Malfoy to stop and wait for us <laughs> every now and then when we aren't going as fast as him, isn't it? I've pushed every key, and every key is failing to make me go faster. But Z does 
slow me down. So if I can slow down like this, then theoretically there's a key that speeds me up. I really need to invert the broomstick controls. There's a weird uh, thumping happening. I think my uh, downstairs neighbors or something that are like up, which I swear I pushed right at the beginning. Okay, so after a few minutes of trying to remember <laughs> what the keys were, I have now remembered and I am... How am I supposed to do anything other than just bump into sound like the sound effect of him laughing <laughs> at all. And I know, I know there's a wizard card around here somewhere. Where is it? I'm like looking around trying to see, you know, where it makes sense to be. Somewhere where you can't immediately see it. Like, you know, around a corner or something. seconds ago but 
glad there's a game this afternoon.
Syndicate, which I have played for you guys actually. And I have Origins too, which I have not played for you guys, but I could, I guess. Anyway, um, really like Odyssey and. Oh wow, am I supposed to flip into this? Mm, I had no idea. <laughs> Thank you, sign. But as I was playing Origins, this is the point of the story. I'll get to it in just a second. Was that. Sit there and let the spikes hit me. <laughs> I just feel very un... Wow, look, another 
mistake and I see that now. I see the error of my ways. But luck we've reached Haggard's hut. And it's very cute. Oh, and look, he's got some animals. What are they, pigs? Find... What did that say? Like, I didn't read it. Pigs, yeah. Pretty sure I have a... Yeah. Yeah, apparently so. I guess you're supposed to do this instead of doing the Quidditch game. I should say this afternoon. Again, amazingly fast. much about the the game's past chamber of secrets but i've heard that they're totally different and i think that mostly they abandon what they were doing here which is sort of following the books and they followed the films instead like the plots of the films like scene for scene
are the friend who's a thief. She is um, also an elf, an elven thief, who's quite charming and she's going to use her feminine wiles to get her way, <laughs> which is super right up my friend's alley and I love it. It's very funny. And my friend who's a wizard, he, he really likes Doctor Strange. So he basically wanted to make like a Doctor Strange knockoff wizard. So he's a halfling. You have to say halfling, you can't say hobbit because that's like intellectual property of the Tolkien family. And that's fine, you know. And, and then his girlfriend, or the friend, friends of everyone. She's also a halfling. Um, and which way? I'm, I'm getting so lost <laughs> and turned around. But I think it. I haven't been here. She's a halfling uh, bard, and she basically plays the bagpipes. I think. I think she walks around. And she serenades us by playing the bagpipes, and she's supposedly she's supposed to play them really badly so that people will pay her to stop. Secretly, she's very good at them, she says. That's what she claims, but I think we've kind of yet to hear her play the bagpipes well. We tried to do a kind of a, a heisty thing where she put on a show in a tavern and our thief tried to steal from people, pick their pockets while they were listening to the music, but the music was so bad that they were like actively trying to avoid it and she was not able to successfully pick their pockets, but our wizard was able to cast some spells that had them drop their card. zero years of experience playing Quidditch will help. This is ridiculous. Again, can I just point out how silly it is that I've never played Quidditch before and I've somehow made the team as the Seeker. So here's a fun fact. Lee Jordan is in my favorite TV, or maybe one of, one of my favorite TV shows. Community. <laughs> oh, he's not saying his line. Oh no.
basically make it close and then th I can't judge like how close I am I'm freaking dry and late Oops. 
leave me alone. No, no. The way they shake their behinds at me and taunt at me. Just so rude. So, so very rude. Look at this. I only made like a, like a three bean profit after you stole some of mine, you rude little vile creatures. I want to jump on the couch. Well, let me jump on the couch. That's sad. Right, lock this room up. Still not just 